What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here at Modern Warfare Zombies and today we're checking out the Haymaker once again. Now we've actually used this once on the channel before. We used it with the Dragon's Breath rounds, but it has been brought to my attention in the most recent video where I used the Lockwood 680 that this now does share the same effect that the Lockwood has where after you pack a punch it, it does have or shoot more shells or in this case slugs at once. I think they said it was about eight, eight slugs at once where with the Lockwood it's like 10. So maybe it doesn't output the exact same level of damage as maybe the Lockwood does, but it should be significantly better now. So I did want to check it out today. That effect does greatly help the Lockwood 680, especially if you are comparing it to before you pack a punch it and after you pack a punch it. So this should be interesting to see how well it actually performs. This was a tough weapon to use last time, even with the even with the uh, Dragon's Breath rounds. So I'm hoping this is a bit of an improvement. Now the good thing about this shotgun is it does have a very large mag at 20 so once we actually pack a punch it it'll be at 40 which is pretty nice and the reload is going to be fairly quick especially with the speed cola so it does have some positives now if only we could get it to do more damage which we're hoping is now going to be the case with this new slug like feature i think we could actually have a potential decent weapon here so first things first we do need to head over to our first contract that we're going to do base so i will head over to this bounty grab it and see what we can make happen Ooh, we got a free chest uh self revive shout out zombie all right we need to get over to this contract what do we get mangler all right see if we can get this guy we're doing like negative damage right now oh, oh we got a helper okay well we got another annoying individual i'll grab my free self revive and he's gonna run away now See, he, see, he must have been frustrated I got his contract, so he just completed it for me. Thanks, bro. I gotta get another one. That was actually just like a waste of my time. Alright, so let me go ahead and head over to another bounty. We didn't even get to try that base weapon, so now we have to do another one. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully we get something close by. Probably gonna be a mangler again. And hopefully no one actually tries to help us with it. We see how terrible this weapon is off the rip. I already know it's going to go bad. Even the Lockwood 680, before you pack a punch it, struggles just because the the way the slugs work. The advantage isn't until you pack a punch. So until then, I mean, it is what it is. We do have a good amount of ammo. I don't think I don't think we're going to have enough ammo though. Oh, come on. What is up with these people being near me? Can I do my contracts in peace? I'm hoping this guy just does whatever he wants to do. Where's this guy? Oh, here he is. Well, that's kind of funny, because he can't actually hit me from there. got to break this dude's... Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that contract. I, I don't have time for this. Two people already in this mode. I don't understand. I'm trying to do my content solo. I queued solo. I don't know. I don't get people. I just don't get it. If you're gonna do that, queue with players. Go play with people. I don't know why messing with random people's games is the is the way to go for these people. All right, number three. Let's try this again. All right, third time's the charm. I promise. And if you guys are curious why that bothers me, it's because I'm I'm actually trying to do something, and with them helping me, it does not it does not allow us to figure that out. That guy's doing half the damage because he's got who knows what upgrades already. The first guy killed our, our bounty almost instantly. Like, it's great these people want to help. Awesome. If that's what they're wanting to do, they should probably queue with, again, other people and, and try to help those players. But it's so weird that you solo queue and you go out of your way to just go out doing other people's content you don't get rewarded for. All right, another contract that just completed itself. This is ridiculous. I just, I'm just trying to use the weapon, man. I'm just trying to do our run. I just want to do the content. It's not letting us do it, though. All right, we're going to get another bounty. Fourth time's the charm. We still haven't been able to do our first bounty. Seven or eight minutes into the game. That's our fourth bounty. All right, fourth time's the charm. Let's try this again. Let's see if this time we get lucky. I, I, I'm just not sure what's going on here. It's like a big troll. Big old troll. Should be able to zip line over there. Only problem I think I might have now is we're definitely going to have an ammo issue. I guess maybe not. Okay. 
Should be able to juice up to max at least real quick. And then let's get up on this roof and head across. All right, we're going across to fight the mango. Oh, it's a mimic, I mean. This actually might be better. Let's go ahead and slide down here. What we got in here? Ooh, an extra self. Why is he not chasing us? Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Can I reload my gun? Let's go here. Nope. Moving slow, moving slow. Climb, climb, climb. Alright. Taking out the zombie. We're doing like negative damage to this guy. This is what I was afraid of. This is exactly what I was afraid of. It's like it's insane how bad the damage is with slugs before you pack a punch. Boom. All right, let's go ahead and try to get some limbs here. I mean, if I could crit shot more often, which it's working right now. Uh, he's grabbing me though. He's gonna shoot his orb. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this with this little amount of ammo. Couple more ammo packs there. It is so bad. I mean, we're not critting every time, which is huge for this, but still. Okay, reload. We're also not getting more zombies, so we're gonna run out of bullets probably for sure. Okay, reload. This is what I was hoping to do. I know it sounds stupid, but we wanted to struggle because that's the whole point. Start off struggling and then you actually can see if the weapon improves drastically or dramatically at all. I, based on this, we're going to be struggling. That's a that's a fact. We're already struggling. Okay, we're hitting more crits. We're doing some damage. We're still not getting the benefit yet. We have not pack a punched. Still have a little ways to go. I mean, we could have packed a punch by now, but minor setbacks. We got to do our content in order here. We might be at barely enough ammo to complete this. Come on, come on, come on. Boom, we got him. Let's go. Death perception. At least it's something we can use. Not completely wasted. All right, I got to find myself another bounty. This time we're going to go ahead and go rare. Let me head over to that direction and grab it. Let me do rare first so I don't forget. Boom. Hopefully that makes a dramatic difference, and I will make sure I grab ammo on the way. But once we get there, we'll grab it and we can knock it out. All right, first thing, grab our ammo refill, W. Grab our next, our next bounty here. Perfect. F2. Oh, they're way over there. Not gonna be able to get to that guy, or at least there's somebody else should weigh before I even think about it. All right, let's head over to this Mimic. Sweet, we did a Mimic on our first one. Now we can kind of compare with the rare. I'm hoping... Well, at least we have the ammo cache. I was going to say, I'm hoping it's going to be a very, very big improvement. And it's going to be a more, even more of an improvement once we get this pack one, which we're going to do exactly after we complete this singular contract here. Go ahead and play it up. Head over here. Yeah, we just need to get enough of it to get a usable sample. I gotcha. Okay. Well, definitely, f I can actually see the damage now, so that's helpful because that was not the case before and actually hit the zombies too i mean of course it makes a big difference it's a it's adding quite a bit of damage for us still gonna it's still awful it's still awful like there's no question doesn't change my opinion what the hell did i just reload why did i shoot three bullets like that i hate that he runs to the side of me that's like i'm trying to shoot you in the face bread or do you not get Bro, where are all these zombies coming from? What's uh, what's the deal here? Why did we get so many zombies? Oh, well, we kind of hit them with it. Probably a little bit. It's fine. Okay, another hellhound. I'm, like, trying to avoid all this stuff so I can fight the guy, and just more of it keeps spawning in. Get our max ammo. Super big W for us here. Yep. 
none of these zombies are relevant. As soon as I eliminate this bounty, they all go away. All right, we got him. I mean, it was definitely faster than the first one, but it's still a bit of a struggle. Not surprising, though. Not surprising. All right, I need to actually need to find us another bounty. Luckily, we got one there. All right, we're moving along here. Now we can hopefully make up for lost time. Let me head over to this guy. We'll pack a bunch to level one, and we will try to smoke it. We can finally see if we can uh, get more damage out of those slugs. We'll see if the slug buff is real, which I believe it probably is. People wouldn't tell me it has the same effect just to troll me. At least I don't think they would, but we're going to find out. All right, pack a punch level one. It is. Boom. Grab our contract. Boom. Oh, wow. Let me actually bounce up there. Trying to get back up to my vehicle. Something I forgot to mention earlier in the video. As always, if you guys would like to try out the build that I'm using in today's video, make sure you check the pinned comment down below. I will make sure to share all of the attachments so you'll be able to have easy access, access to it and be able to rock, rock it for yourself. I don't know if there's much reason why you would want to do that. Although... Oh yeah, look at that. The spread is a little bit wider, it feels like, maybe? No, maybe not. Maybe the first one just looked weird. But yeah, 100%, it does have that same effect. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that, I mean, obvious the damage increase makes a difference, but I don't know if you guys realize just how much the extra shells when you shoot, once you pack a punch, really does help. It's kind of insane. So now we're looking pretty good. Uh, we were able to knock that out significantly faster than the rest with a little bit of boost in damage from having the the buffed up slugs. All right, can we get another bounty? There's one down south. We don't really need... Honestly, I'm probably going to skip into the tier 2 zone. We don't really need to do another tier 1 bounty for the simple fact that we've done so many just due to the you know issues we ran across. So now we've done our, our base one. We did our, our rare. We did our pack 1 rare. Now I guess we could see what damage is going to be like in the tier 2 zone. I mean, we already have enough to pack a bunch of level 2. That's kind of the, the good news. We don't have any extra plates, which is the negative. But we should at least be able to see if... As long as it's not a disciple, I think we have a chance. I really am questioning the capabilities of this weapon going into this next stuff here. But I guess we'll see what happens. Did I equip that? Where did I put the... Where did the decoys go? Usually, oh, here we go. I was like, usually you can pick them up. I want to pick up the decoy. All right, what did we get? We got a disciple. No. Oh, that's bad. That's actually bad. Uh, I mean, I have the pack two crystal. I guess we'll try it. Worst case scenario, we're, we're going to have to juice up. I don't think, I don't think, I mean, let's be fair here. We've done pack one blue with, with a handful of weapons in the past. Some of those weapons tend to be on the better end. I don't think we're going to be successful here, but we could get surprised. The good news is, though, I'm anticipating failure, so it does kind of help. This this might lead us to just going pack two. Doesn't seem that bad, though. I don't have... Whatchamacallit? I don't have dead wire, which I think I would love to have for this particular fight. This is actually not doing bad at all. Are we lagging? What the hell? I feel like we were lagging right there. I actually don't know. Oh, it's because we have slugs. It's actually kind of rough. This is potential. This has potential. Let's go. Talk about a turnaround for a weapon. Has to be one of the biggest turnarounds I've seen in some time. Most of the time when a weapon starts out very meh, or in this case, not very great, uh, it doesn't turn around later. At least not that I can think of. Maybe you guys can think of a weapon. Let me know down in the comment section below that starts out just awful. And for some reason, when you juice it up, it ends up being insanely good. I do think that that's a very, very rare thing to happen. This weapon, however, sees mass improvements. Mass improvements once you actually get to, to pack one. Which is awesome. I mean, this definitely feels a lot more viable than it ever did using Dragon's Breath rounds or the Slug rounds at any point previously before they changed it. I don't know exactly what update they changed it in. It could have been the Season 2 update. I mean, I don't go out of my way to run the shotguns most of the time, so it's easy for me to miss that stuff. So, appreciate the people in the comment section letting me know that the Haymaker did receive this change so we could actually check it out today. 
W viewers, W community. You guys are awesome. All right, let's see how we do against this guy. Be cool, we didn't have to fight just hellhounds. Come on. Oh, I think we actually. Is there a second mangler? The other good news, too, is this thing full auto. You don't have to sit there and, you know, press the trigger over and over and over. Bad news. I need some freaking plates. All right, we're tanking this guy now. Hit him in the arm a couple times. He's not feeling good. Come on, buddy. What's his name? Ravioli? I don't think that was his name, but it looked like it said Ravioli. So we can imagine it was Ravioli, right? All right, there's a Napalm Burst. I think I'm going to stick with the Shatter Blast. Personally, I like the Shatter Blast a lot, especially when it comes to the Tier 3 zone. Oh, we still have this convoy over here kind of trolling us. Let's go ahead and go pack a punch level 2. Let's juice up. And then we can go ahead and grab another bounty down here. And see what, what pack two looks like. I mean, I'm actually impressed. I'm impressed by the turnaround of this weapon. Again, I think it's one of the largest turnarounds I've seen for any weapon. I don't know what it is about this run, but for some reason, it feels like we've gotten through the content much faster. I feel like earlier we were going really slow because we were behind and people kept taking the... Or kept trying to help us with our contracts, so it was kind of taking away from what we were trying to do. But now I'm feeling like we're, we're killing it for some reason. Maybe it's a little bit of the RNG factor... Maybe it's the fact that we were, we've been able to get consistent bounties this entire time. Or maybe it's just the fact that the weapon got such a turnaround, it actually ends up being strong enough to just fly through the content. Alongside us being pretty consistent with our grabbing of our vehicles. I think it's, it's kind of a combination of things. But I do feel like this has been a pretty smooth run. And we really haven't had too many hurdles. I mean, we do have around 20 minutes left in the match. And we're on our, our second, third, third... Uh, tier 2 bounty. Basically, we're just trying to see what pack 2 has to offer. Okay. Should just shoot him in the arm, but... I feel like it's kind of counterproductive sometimes. I have, ne I don't think I've had three plates on this whole time. Oh, we just exploded them. Free pack 1 crystal. Not bad. I mean, this thing does not feel like super overpowered. But it definitely does not feel bad. Hey, wait, I can't move. My character would not sprint. Come on. Just destroying the regular specials. The large mag is definitely appealing, too. Okay, let's go ahead and plate up. We actually have plates now. Let's go! Okay. So, at this point, let's see. At this point, we need to see where the pack... Everybody's in Tier 3, so this might not be a bounty run for us, which is unfortunate. Um, let's see if we can get lucky. I'm going to go ahead and make my way over to the Pack-A-Punch machine real quick. Is there... Yes, there is a redeploy drone. We should be able to get over there fairly smooth. So let's go ahead and Pack-A-Punch level 3. Maybe we mess around a little bit with the rare, see how we do. Maybe take on some Mega Abominations, since the uh, bounties are probably going to be out of the question, just depending on how it is when we get over there. But we'll just see what kind of magic we can make happen with this guy in the tier 3 zone. Alright, pack a punch level 3 it is. Let's go. People hitting the mystery box up in here. Go ahead and see what we can make happen. These guys are hitting the mystery box. People be probably hitting all the, the caches. Probably not going to have too much luck with those either. How's this guy do against... Oh, we one-shot it because of the shatter blast. I mean, it's not crazy. Was that, three shots to an armored? I mean, it's definitely not ideal. Oh, we could possibly get a bounty. If this is a mega bomb, that's huge. I don't know if we're going to get that lucky, though. It's kind of a good thing there's so many people in this zone right now because there's like almost no zombies. And I think that's part of it. I think the aggro is spread out amongst all these people. All right, mega abomination this direction. Oh, and then we ran into a zombie. Okay. Yeah, it definitely seems a little bit more scattered because there's so many other people. All right, where is this one? Oh, I don't. What? I don't know where this mega bomb is. I actually don't know where this mega bomb is. Hopefully it's not 
in a bad spot? I actually don't know. This could get really interesting. I don't think I've ever fought the Mega Bomb that's in whatever area this is we're headed in. I think the Shatter Blast is going to be huge here. For the very least, it'll help us with the, uh, the issue we might be facing. Is it really up there? Seems like a weird spot for a Mega Bomb. Maybe they moved it away from the buildings on purpose. Dude, zombies running through bullets to hit you or is just crazy to me. I mean, come on. If this thing didn't have such a big mag, I would say there's just no way. We're actually being blessed right now, as far as I'm concerned. With the way this has been functioning. Oh, there's another doghouse up there. That must be new. Both both this location for this and this must be new. But it's weird because I feel like I can get up in this tower. Let me see. Maybe I can't because he's not coming over here. I also don't want him to get too close because then he... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Unless they change something, this seems silly. I also don't think my range is going to be far enough to hit that. Oh, well, maybe. Doesn't seem like we're doing a lot of damage, though. Boom. Actually, we're not doing terrible damage. I mean, guess, granted, I am trying to time the crit spots. Can't really see it. The one thing is, I wish I wish his mouth glowed purple when he was all red like this, because he is super hard to, to see. I am hitting consistent crits, and I know I can hold it down. I'm just trying not to waste bullets to hit the spots, because I'm not hitting crit spots consistently enough. And the range. Oh, got zombies throwing stuff at me now. They are super far throwing that too. What? They must have got them further range. I'm gonna go up here. I don't think I can hit it this far, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I think maybe because of the slugs uh, being the eight number or whatever, being a larger number, maybe it's different, but... I know this is stupid, right? You guys are gonna be like, why is he standing on top of a tower? Shooting one bullet at a time. I actually probably could get away with more. I just want to destroy some of it. Come on. I kind of want to go back down a, a level, to be honest. Even though the zombies were throwing stuff at me, or trying to. Let me see if I hold it down. Oh, we actually hit it. Oh, oh, oh. We're hitting consistent. I lied. My fear was not realistic. We are going to run out of ammo doing this, though. That's like guarantee. That's actually a guarantee. Um, Let's see. If I fly away, does he still follow me? Or can I get over there and come back? Let's see. See if our real if it's a realistic fear. I hope he doesn't gain health. I don't think he's going to. I think this is the one we can actually super cheese. All right, hopefully this guy comes back over here. Come on. Oh yep, he's coming. Gotta get up here. Hurry before all the zombies hit us. Jeez. The fact that like seven of them can hit you when you're like ten feet off the ground kind of doesn't make sense, but. At least we made it back to our spot. We shouldn't have burned too much. And he's a little bit closer, so I feel a little better. Kind of. About hitting him? Consistently, maybe? I can't tell if he got any of his health back. It doesn't look like it. He's kind of just... Oh, we're actually getting kind of lucky. Stop turning your head, bud. Stop turning it. Come on. I kind of want to, let's, you know what?
I'm gonna throw this right here. We're gonna go ahead and hit this. And we're gonna try to hit him. We're actually doing big damage to him. Well, sort of big damage. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not as big as I think, but definitely feels like it. Should be able to get plates and all the stuff we could use right here. And he should be able to get hit by more stuff in the face. And we have our thing back, so I don't feel too worried. Oh, nice. Yeah, we screwed up his face again. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and run. He's a little upset with us, that's fine. Yep. Yep, I got you. Yep, you're still gonna do that. You're gonna do it again. And you're gonna keep doing it, because you love it. It's your favorite move. I feel ya. I mean, I get it. You gotta do what works, right? When you're a, an abomination from another crazy, crazy dimension. You gotta do whatever works to get your, your point across. Hopefully we can slam him. Almost. Got some plates to hurt, help myself out. I should have had more perks. Kind of doing this a little less perks than I wanted to. This is working out better than I thought, though. Come on. Oh, yep. He's going to do his short burst thing. Okay, yeah, should be good now. A little bit of distance between us. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He's not opening his mouth for us. He wants to get in another burst of attacks. I can tell you're going to keep attacking. I can tell what you're doing, bro. It's the end for you. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Yeah, I don't even think... Oh, we don't even have dead shot. I'm a fool. Look at that. We don't even have dead shot on. Nothing I want. Double rare tools, though. What? Did you see that? Anybody else see that? That was actually impressive. I'm definitely impressed by that. I should have just fought it normal the whole time. I used a strat for no reason. We had the power the whole time. Okay, so now that we were able to knock that out, that's actually kind of kind of cool. Let me see if there's another one. We could even do a legendary run on a, a bounty just to see. Normally, I, you, you pick up a strat because it's kind of tough to do both the zombies and the abomination depending on the weapon that you're using, but we didn't have that issue here. There's people everywhere. I could try to grab another one. Let's see if we can do it. I mean, if we were able to complete it, it might as well. We always have a chance at a reward. I do have more than enough to buy some perks. Let me hit some perks on the way, too. And then go ahead and re-equip my decoys. All right, let's see what we can do. I'll grab them all. Why not? No sense in holding off. Okay, looking all right. So this definitely is significantly better than it was previously. So I'm definitely happy that they decided to do that same slug effect on this weapon as well. Does anybody know if it's on any of the other shotguns that they didn't choose to do it on all of them, which is kind of a, kind of a bit of a surprise to me. If I'm being completely honest. Kind of a bit of a surprise. Need to run this way and try to get to our bounty. I don't think this one's going to be a mega bomb. Which is okay. If it's not a mega bomb, that's also cool. I kind of just wanted to see what we get. And also see if we can complete it. Maybe do legendary this time. Yeah, let's go ahead. Make it through that. We're going to be attacked and chased and it's a disciple. Oh. Alright, well we're definitely going legendary for this. And if you don't know why, it's because I feel like it'd be a mistake not to. And I don't really want to struggle on this. And then if we have time after completing this bounty, we might just do a regular Mega Bomb a limb. Just because. Throw it in there. Dude. You guys are crazy. Oh, I thought I got the Mimic. This is awesome, though. It's awesome that it's full auto and that it has a bigger mag. It's probably why they decided not to go too OP with it. Like, if it shot a couple extra shells per... Or a couple of extra slugs per shot or whatever, however you want to look at it, pellets then you would actually be OP, for sure. Uh, no place dropping? 
I hate when I have to fight so many zombies, but I'm not getting the drops. I feel like that's not... Probably got... Yeah, I got... I definitely got one plate there. Normally the Shatter Blast, I think, helps get some of them drop more often, but I don't know how actually how much it actually works. Come on, game. There we go, right? Nope. That one? Yeah, that one did. All right. Now we can head toward our bounty. Disciple it is. At least we're legendary. I'm really hoping we're going to be able to complete this. I mean, we should if we could, uh, if we could beat a Mega Bomb with Rare. I feel like a Disciple has to be doable, right? Dude. Makes no sense. You're... Make no sound, then you bite me in the butt. Where is this disciple? Oh, it's down there. Oh, I could hit that too. That's cheesy. I'm gonna hit it. Screw it. I mean, we're we're still doing pretty good damage. Let's go ahead and keep hitting them. Got it. W. Another rare tool. Is this rare tool central? Okay, so we have a little bit of time left. We were able to knock out two bounties. We did one with the legendary. I mean, that one we kind of used our nuke, but it is what it is. It's still found success. What are these guys doing? A... Did I hear that? Yeah, I think I heard their escort. Or something. These guys are doing... I hear it, but I don't know why I hear it. Kind of nuts, actually. Must be on the other side of this. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, it blew up. They didn't get it. I was going to help them with it if they needed it. Let's see if we can go all the way across. So I'm going to run across over here to the spot, and then we will fight us one mega bomb before the end of the match here. I am definitely impressed by this weapon. I think they actually made it a lot more viable than it ever was before. I was terribly concerned before we got to Pack Punch level one, but it makes sense. We don't get the increase in pellets or, or slugs, however you want to... You know, refer to it as until after pack a bunch anyway. And obviously it did a substantial boost to damage. All right, we got our mega bomb. It just started, it popped out of the ground and immediately started chasing me. Extra aggro, I guess. I'm not sure. Not sure what happened. We're just going to destroy it though. We are absolutely going to destroy it. I know that's a fact. It just disappeared. What? Did we just... Really have that happen? That's all right. Another one will pop up. We'll make sure we still get one. I mean, this thing is dominating in the legendary fashion. Holy smokes. It's just insane. Like, I guess it's probably because it's 40 bullets. Like I said, 40 bullets. Can we stop spawning behind me for a minute here so I can actually get this guy's aggro and feel comfortable? Yeah, come on. Let's go. He's actually ready to go this time. All right, come on, Mega Bomb. Let's just take you down, buddy. He's gonna be running toward me here. Dang, he runs quick. Why does it throw my aim so far to the right when I plate? It's crazy. Yo, stop spawning the Hellhounds on me. All right, we can still hit this guy. Range is crazy. No, nope, he's gonna keep doing that. I can tell. He's in that weird mood. He's upset that he's not hitting hits, so he's, he's going to keep doing that weird move. Now he's going to look at me and maybe... Nope, he's not giving me the chance. There we go. Yo, zombie, I know you're close to me and you feel invincible, but you're not. Okay. Oh yeah, keep doing that. Perfect. You are gone, dude. You are out of here. Let's go. He almost got me, though. Give him that. He almost got me. But well, he got smoked. What did we get? Ah, oh, pack one crystal. I mean, it's better than nothing. I'll take it. Free pack one crystal. All right, where's our closest exfil? We got an exfil over here. I'm going to go ahead and head in that direction. There's not really much I can wrap up in this area or do besides, you know, another mega bomb, which we've already done. That thing absolutely obliterated the mega bomb there. And we were able to do the disciple and even the rare pack three mega bomb bounty. So I think overall, this weapon was a success. 
it's great to see them do buffs like this. I hope they do this for other weapons, making them a little bit more viable. Again, this isn't the most powerful weapon in the game. I definitely don't think it's better than the long, the uh, the Lockwood. But in the end of the day, it's kind of kind of depends. Like, it is possible that in a sense this could be a better option, just because you have forty bullets, you can just hold down the trigger. But also at the same time, you know, the damage output isn't quite as much. I would have to do a side by side comparison to see how much more damage the Lockwood six eighty is actually doing over this. But again, I do think this is a really, really good option now when it was pretty much unusable previously. So I'm going to head over to the x -Fill and we're going to make that happen. All right, we finally made it to the x -Fill. We had a blast running this after we got to a certain point in the upgrade system. Definitely feel like you guys should go check it out for yourself. Rock in the slugs after the update or after the, the patch they made for it. That's going to wrap things up for us here. If you guys want to load out, check the pinned comment down below. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all support in the channel. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.